We know that an HDRI environment can create very realistic lighting in Blender, compared to the normal lighting. But if you ever used HDRI lighting in EV, you must have noticed that it does not cast any shadow, like what we get in the case of cycles. This is a serious limitation in EV. So in this tutorial, we have discussed how to create a reasonably good shadow in EV like this, even when HDRI environment is turned on. In this test scene, we have a Suzanne and a simple floor. And we have already set up the HDRI environment, but there is hardly any shadow. Our node setup for HDRI lighting is like this. If you are not familiar with HDRI environment lighting, or if you want to know more about this node setup, you can check our foundation level tutorial, where we have discussed all about HDRI lighting. The link is given below in the video description. So, we can create a shadow effect by using a strong light in addition to HDRI. Right now we have this light in our scene. And if we go to the light tab, we can see that this is a simple point light. So let us change this to a sunlight. And we have to also reduce the strength, something in the range of 5 to 10. Now we can see that there is little bit of shadow on this side of the object. This shadow is entirely due to the sun. The sunlight is now falling in this angle, and it is creating a faint shadow on the opposite side. We can make it more prominent by slightly reducing the environment lighting. So we'll change the strength field. Let us make it 0.75. Now we can go back to the 3D viewport. As we can see here, the shadow is now a little better on the floor, it's more visible. However, this has a serious problem. In the render properties, if we go to Cycles Engine, we will discover that there are now two different shadows, as we have two sources for the light. This shadow is coming from the sunlight like before. But we have an additional shadow on this side, this shadow is from our HDRI lighting. So we have multiple shadows, and more than that, the scene will have two different lighting together, which will create unrealistic effect on everything, and it won't look good. We can rectify this by changing the position of the sun to match with the HDRI lighting. To do that perfectly, we'll use an add-on that comes by default with Blender, we have to just enable it. You don't need to download anything, just open preferences from here. Then switch over to the add-ons tab. In this search field, type the word sun. We'll get an add-on called sun position. Then select this checkbox to enable it. And close this window. Now go to the world properties. You'll get a new section called sun position, let us expand this. We have to go to the tab called sun plus HDR texture. Then in this environment texture field, we have to select the same texture node, which we have used in our node tree for the HDRI lighting. And in the sun object, we have to select the light, which is set up as the sun. Then click on this button called, Sync Sun to Texture. Now if you move the mouse in the viewport, you'll see that the HDRI picture that we used for the environment is displayed here. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out on this picture. And as we move our mouse in this viewport, we can see that these two angles are changing accordingly. So here on this picture, we have to click on the brightest spot. Blender will then automatically map the sun to that location and move the sun object to that place. Now, press the control key on your keyboard and scroll down using your mouse wheel. You'll see that the brightness of the picture is going down and we can easily identify the brightest spot. So for this picture, the brightest spot is here. Let us click once over here. And the sun will be taken to that location. So we can see that the sun is now positioned here and it is matching the angle of the HDRI lighting. So this time we are getting the shadow in the same angle as that of the HDRI, and there won't be duplicate shadows. The quality of this shadow can be improved further. So while the light is still selected, let us go to the light tab. Then enable this contact shadow option. This will improve the shadow at the points where the object touches the ground. And under this, we can further increase this distance field. Let us make it 1. This will improve the thickness of the shadow at the contact points. Now go to the Render Properties. Here, we can also enable this option called Ambient Occlusion. This will create a beautiful shadow for the areas where the light is less likely to reach, like the underside or the backside of an object, and it further improves the quality of the shadow. For a better occlusion effect, we may have to change this distance field and experiment with this value. As we increase this distance, we can see that a darker shadow is appearing here that looks cool. So, maybe we can use a value of 1.2. And we can also turn off this option for the light bouncing. 
It will result in a further enhancement in the shadow quality. And now we have almost a perfect shadow from the sunlight, keeping the HDRI lighting on. We should not compare it with cycles, but this is reasonably good, and we can use a mix of these techniques to produce sufficient quality shadow in EV with HDRI lighting. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.